morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited to bring you another fantastic RV on uh, what would normally be my Monday, but of course, happy 4th of July. I was up camping in my Superstar. So here on Wednesday morning, uh, welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562. 8659 again 303 562 8659 and please note if you are looking for links to any of our inventory or any information on other videos that we have just look down below you can find me at tttrv.com you can also find all of my videos i'm almost at 100 at rvs inside out at our youtube station so again if you have any questions comments or concerns during this video please feel free to speak up. We are posting this live on Facebook, and of course it will be recorded to YouTube at a later point in time as well. So Jody, as usual, I love to start my videos from the inside out. Go ahead and take her on back. Um, so today's really fun. You know, one of the things that we get to do in this industry is make dreams come true. And uh, Craig and Lu Lunia uh, came in and uh, gave me a call after starting their research on a few different products. And they looked at a London Air and a King Air, but really had their hearts set on a Supreme Air. So this is the culmination of everything that they were looking for. So with a lot of patience, um, you know, we order these RVs that take about six to nine months to get in. Uh, we were able to actually bring in a video, I'm sorry, a video, an RV that is exactly the color combination and all the features that they had dreamt about. So today's model is a 4573. It is a bath and a half unit. And one of the things that's so nice about this unit is actually the size of the shower. So please, let's go ahead and start on back. Now this is the Ibis interior, but you'll see how decadent this shower is. Uh, one of the things I can tell you, um, especially after just spending the weekend with three teenage girls uh, camping in our Superstar, there's just so much to be said about having um, extra shelf space for your conditioner and shampoo and having a wall mounted area up here as well. Uh, this would have really come in handy for us. So I love that feature. Uh, we did also use our recycling water a lot. So we used our Aquaview showering system where we were able to heat the water up before the girls came in. And then I also found myself really using the wand more than anything else. So that was just so nice to be able to bring this up and down. And then I can actually sit down and have the shower, you know, raining down on me while I was shaving my legs, washing my feet and getting ready to go back to the pool. So super, super nice features. Now, some things that I didn't have that I would really encourage you to take special note of. I love these towel bars in the exterior of the door. So having an extra place to hang up your towels is so nice. Um, now this interior uh, with the linear drain down below and all the inset tile, of course is a step up and this is one of the differentiations that you'll find between the Superstar and the Supreme Air. Of course above and beyond uh, that 505 horsepower uh, engine with 1,850 foot-pounds of torque uh, which is also a nice differentiating factor. Um, but something that we of course used a lot and just love is the um, outlet in the medicine cabinet so you can actually keep your hair dryer here um, and there's so much shelf space um, I have uh, plastic bins that I keep everything in so that if the coach happens to freeze and anything overflows, it doesn't get onto the shelves. But one of the things that's so nice about these carpet line bins is you just don't hear them rattling down the road. Now in this model, of course, when you go into the Supreme Air, we get these really nice luxurious things like the, uh, the backlit vanity mirror. So, so bright, so much light coming here. Um, but it's important to understand that when you're in here, there's a lot of different things that you can actually turn up and down. So I can, I can change the level of brightness um, on the Silverleaf system with, with, uh, with the Supreme Air. And this is a really, really nice feature. So not only do I have on and off, but I can actually just turn everything down and get a nice glow in here. So depending on how late it is at night, you can really adjust the settings. Um, now, I, of course, love the fact that you can do your laundry uh, while you're on the road. Uh, just to put it in perspective, when we got our new sheet set for our Superstar, we were able to wash the sheets in the washer and dryer and dry them. So it's plenty of room. 
Um, I've had a few people ask me, um, I did on the gene setting, um, I got about 20% uh, of my gray water tank was filled after doing uh, genes. So I think that you could probably do four loads of laundry pretty safely while driving down the road. And of course, that's one of the nicer features in the Supreme Air, at least in this floor plan, is that I don't have to open my slides to switch over the laundry. I can do all of my laundry while I'm on my way to my next destination, which is super handy. Um, another great aspect of this floor plan is all of this additional storage up here. And you'll see we also have got a really nice place for our safe. And then of course we've got a really nice it's fully extendable drawers. These are a great place to keep any kind of socks, bathing suits, things along those lines, and of course the extra hanging space as well. And then you'll notice right behind us that Jody is standing in front of the egress door. So this is another nice feature that you'll get in the Supreme Air. So you have your egress door, which is great not only for um, you know escaping in case of a dire emergency, but also just for loading linens, bringing in any kind of supplies that you might want to without having to come in and out of the front door. And then of course we have our rope hook. And then another nice feature, we were able to um, keep, we had some pretty high winds up at Estes Park, but we were able to keep this vent open. So even um, at night we could keep it open without it being on. Uh, and so it was great, just giving us that little extra fresh air coming through the cabin. So I like that a lot. Of course, there's a porcelain toilet here, which is really, really nice. And of course, with three teenage girls in tow, we did uh, get that little orange light here to light up, saying that it was time to dump our gray water, or sorry, our black water tank. So very nice. You can fill the potty here. Uh, and then you can use this button to actually uh, to flush the toilet. But if you get too full, you'll see that this will turn orange. That little light will actually illuminate orange, which is nice to know that it gives you a, vi a visual sign so you don't have to actually look at your tanks to know that it's time to flush your black water. Uh, now, another nice uh, aspect of this floor plan is all of the additional hanging space. Of course, I have a bunk model, um, so I can testify that if I could have a bath and a half bunk model, it would have really made a difference with all those young ladies. Um, but this hanging space is something that we sacrifice for those bunks and it's so decadent to have three different places to hang clothes. Um, now here, you've got these full extension drawers. And when I say full extension, what I really like about them is they are actually full extension. So they come all the way out past the cabinet so they're easy to load. Um, and what we were able to do actually, which was kind of fun, all the girls got their own drawer so each one was able to kind of unload and keep all their stuff in there. And of course, they are soft clothes. Um, here you've got a really nice um, emergency exit as well as you can see one of the carefree awnings deployed. It really helps to keep the heat out on a hot day. And I cannot wait to show you uh, the exterior of this coach. So this is the Ibis interior, but one of the things that's so amazing about this exterior is that this is actually an Essex color combination. This is modeled after Riviera, which just didn't exist um, in the color palettes for 2022. Um, but Craig and Lunia really wanted to have that really stark, you know, black, white, silver, um, very, very strong looking uh, Supreme Air. And that's what we've been able to achieve. Um, that being said, some other neat features that we don't get to always show off. Uh, so first of all, go ahead and take a look at this really nice um, headboard, beautiful, tufted, you know, leather, nice wood accents, mirrored also. Um, and then of course, all the extra storage above with the grommets here so that you can put things in and out. And then you also have your silver leaf touch pad right here. Uh, this comes in 2022 with an all lights off feature up here. We used that all lights off feature every single night. So whenever we were getting ready for bed, if we needed to make sure we had everything off, we could literally just touch the button and all the lights went off. And when you have, uh, three 14 year old young ladies, sometimes you just need to turn all the lights off and be like, hey guys, it's time for bed. And that was awesome. Uh, so again, more storage here, uh, but the special event is going to be right here where I go ahead and put our mattress up. So as you can see, if you wanted to sit here and watch your 43 inch television uh, with, uh, with your, you know, with your, um, without your pillows, with your back up and elevated, relaxing. This is a really, really nice air mattress. And we just don't get to show this very often. So that's kind of a fun feature. And then it just rolls back down underneath. And then also 
I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up for you. Oops, there we go. So this has got uh, storage right here underneath as well. So we have our extensions for our tables. And it's nice because uh, although there's more storage when you don't have the adjustable bed, it's still nice to have uh, that extra space. And then something I really like about this model is that here uh, you have your outlets inside of the cubby. And then there's a little place to put the cord through. So we did not have that in our Superstar. And I can tell you, it's funny when you start working on these, you notice these little subtle differences and you go, oh, that would be so cool if I got that little slit that they came out with for the King Air in 2021 so I could run my cords in and out. So ours just kind of hang outside. We don't really put them away. Whereas here you could actually stow them inside of your coach, which would be really nice. Um, so another nice feature you'll notice here, of course, this uh, model is very similar to the Mountaineer. So this uh, feature ceiling here is so great at hiding all of the returns. Uh, the air conditioning worked fantastic. Um, on this 43 foot, I'm sorry, 45 foot coach, you will have three uh, air conditioners and heat pumps, as well as an all tile floor. So this more floor is another advantage that you will get with the Supreme Air versus the Superstar. Um, so very nice there. Um, also the silver leaf panel is a little bit different. So I have switches that turn on and off. They're blue. You can turn them off. They do glow. Uh, but what's really nice about this is I actually have the ability of, of going through all of my house controls. I can go into my shades and I can go ahead and put my dresser shade down. And you'll see so power shades, which is really nice. Um, and it's not terribly, you know, inconvenient to have to deploy these manually, but it is really nice to be able just to have a single touch of a button. Uh, and then the other thing that's really nice about the silver leaf system is this. So here at home, I can see all of my tank levels, uh, both in my bedroom as well as in the front of the coach. So in my Superstar, I only have one location that actually shows this information. And it's not nearly as much information as what I get on this screen with the silver leaf in the Supreme Air. Um, also, you'll see DC power. You can see that we're actually running off of our uh, generator right now. Um, our generator is, of course, a 12.5 kilowatt generator. They're very hard to come by these days. Um, so if you're in uh, the market for a Super C, just understand that you know from a, a restriction standpoint, we are actually starting to see the chassis come in a little bit more regularly. We're not having that type of issue as much. Uh, Onan 12.5K uh, generators are really hard to come by. So get your order in. That's going to be how Numar is actually basing their allocation of buildable units. And if you're in early and you plan ahead, you should be fine. But if you're not, you might be waiting until uh, that next round of RVs comes out in 2024. So the 2023 models are currently on order. And to be honest with you, the big 12.5 kilowatt generators are in uh, high demand and rare supply. So just a little side note there. Now you'll see here, this is where we had to have our awning retract and deploy. And then this is where we would bring our slides in. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this bedroom slide just to show you what kind of room we have in here. And keep in mind, this is going to be, the slide will be in all the way, uh, only on the passenger side. So I'll pull in the full wall side after we get through the rest of the presentation. Um, but you can see how this comes through. And what's nice about this is if you are somewhere where you only can deploy um, one, side of your, uh, one side of your RV. So for instance, when we are unloading and loading at our house, this side is not a side that would be able to go out. By having this just the full wall side deployed, I still have complete access here to get in and out of the bathroom to load in um, all of my supplies before we go camping, which I think is also a really nice feature. Um, now, as I mentioned, this is a bath and a half model. So here in this mid bath, you'll find not only do you have um, plenty of room, but you have all of the same amenities. So you have, you know, this beautiful undermount sink, You've got tons of storage space with an outlet in the cabinet itself. You also have your backlit mirror and your huge, huge, huge medicine cabinet here. I don't know if you can get in there, Jody. And then one of the things I really like about this is that they gave us a really nice outlet down here, which you could actually deploy or you could stow. So it's just a push of a button. So it's out of the way if you don't need it, but if you need it, it's right there. Um, and then of course, Drawer storage is always valuable. 
a place to keep your toilet paper, and then a place to keep washcloths and towels as well. And another one of these fantastic fans. And then that same flush system here with the Dometic. So just a really, really nice restroom overall. Now, of course, this is where we do keep the brains of the, of the operation. So right here you have your fuse panels. And as you can see, everything is very clearly labeled. Uh, you know it's for your water heater, it's for your rear air, it's for your floor heat. And keep in mind the Supreme Air has not only the Moore floor with all the tile, um, but also has three zone heated floors. So those are electrically heated. So we talk a lot about hydronic heat um, in the RV world. And what hydronic heat is talking about is a tube of antifreeze going through and actually getting hot with your tankless hot water heater. So this coach has a tankless hot water heater that is heating a tube of liquid during the winter months. So when your heat pumps don't work at you know 32, 38 degrees, it's, they're just blowing in cold air, you can run that hydronic heat. That's what we mean by hydronic. When we talk about heated floors, it's not a hydronically heated floor, it's an electric heated floor, which is super, super nice because you can run that off of your 50 amp. And this coach runs off of an Oasis system. So the Oasis system is running off of AC1, AC2, or diesel burner. And one of the things I can tell you is just having um, spent all that time with the girls taking, of course, you know, we've got five people and a coach that sleeps six, lots of showers going on. Um, but AC2 was more than enough to keep the water hot uh, the entire time for us. But in those colder temperatures, you can run the heat off of your diesel burner, which just sips fuel and allows you to get a little bit further out and off the beaten path if you need to have that hot water system running um, and you're not going to be able to be plugged into 50 amp. Now I do want to point out here that one of the things that we find so useful um, on all of our camping trips is this intervac system. So uh, we were able to keep all of the crumbs and everything from making you know all the sandwiches and hot dogs and hamburgers off of the carpet. Now of course you don't have any carpet in a Supreme Air um, and then so you would actually be able to use this a little more easily which is the kick plate so that you could actually just run your air con or run your uh, your broom and sweep into this kick plate. Now that would have been really nice for us, but of course, one of the differences between the Supreme Air and the Superstar is that the Supreme Air does not have carpet. So we have carpet in our vehicle, so we had to pull that hose out. Now I love this pantry. It is about three times as big as my pantry, and my pantry is fantastic. So you just push to release and then pull these out. And you can see their full extension, so nice. So you get all the way to the back. And I do have a lot of little containers. I keep everything in containers. So when we take our chips out and everything, we would store them in containers. But I love that you have this LED light that actually glows when you open your cabinets. Uh, that is a feature that you'll find because of the fact that we are again in that Supreme Air level, which is really nice. Um, same refrigerator. This Whirlpool is fantastic. As you can see, tons and tons of room. We make great use of this drawer down here. We keep all of our cheeses for cheese plates, for sandwiches, all of our lunch meats here. And then you've got your, um, you can either do vegetables or fruits and they actually have settings to change uh, which, uh, type of which type of thing you're storing down below. And then I love this little, uh, this little shelf which actually drops down so I could keep my Prosecco um, nice and cold while we were camping. Uh, did find a little Piney the Elder on the way up as well. So had a few nice bottles in the refrigerator, great for the 4th of July weekend. Um, of course, super nice to have an ice maker, lots and lots of room for Otter Pops, and overall just a really, really nice kitchen setup. So here you'll see that we have um, something I would have loved to have. Look at all the room that you have here for spices, salt and pepper, whatever it might be. Um, and then another long or tall storage area, great place to keep any kind of balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and another long drawer. And you don't need to use that for scrubbies because you can keep all of those right here. Look at how much room you have for scrubbies. Just really, really great. And then here, more storage. And again, just the ability to pull this all the way out so you can get all the way to the back of that cabinet. So nice. 
I know Craig and Linnea are going to be so excited to take this uh, lakeside. That's where this RV is going to spend a lot of time. And then take a look there. Another great place to keep any kind of seasonings that you like up top. And then uh, this came in super handy. So your convection and microwave oven. Um, I can't speak highly enough. We use this to bake cookies. It's awesome. Um, another thing that was really nice on our trip was that we were able to take our true induction outside because um, I don't like the smell of bacon in my RV. So we've got our cutting pads here, which come in really handy. We have our removable cooktop. So you could take this out, use it on your uh, kitchen patio. Uh, there's plugs outside and a base underneath. So you just run a little extension cord out there. Um, but really great to be able to use that outside as opposed to having to, you know, make bacon. And we didn't go fishing. We, we went, we meant to go fishing. We didn't catch any trout or anything, but it's another thing I'd probably keep outside. Uh, my sink is a lot smaller than this, um, which is, this is a really nice, luxurious sink. Um, but of course, Numar really knows how to turn it on. Uh, that is both spray and pour stainless steel undermount sink. Really beautiful huge amount of space in this countertop. This coach does have the additional window here as well. And then again, tons of storage here. And um, we used our dishwasher a lot more than I expected I would. Um, so if you're thinking about having a dishwasher or not having a dishwasher, I would actually probably vote at this point in the world to have a dishwasher. We used it not only to dry things, um, but we actually just washed a lot of dishes with it. So it was super handy. Um, and then here, wow, look at all the remotes. <laughs> it's the, it's real. There are a lot of remotes. Um, one thing I can tell you is that we watched, um, I've never seen Stranger Things, so people probably think that that's really strange, but we watched a number of episodes of Stranger Things because of course at Estes Park, at about mm, three, four o'clock in the afternoon every day it would rain. So, and then it would be sunny, we'd have dinner after it rained, but we would watch Stranger Things. So we would put all the blinds down and we would play the soundtrack over the uh, sound bar. And it's really funny because right now I am uh, putting together a really nice home. And in the basement where we're setting up the theater, the gentleman who was doing our uh, built-in said, well, I pre-wired everything for speakers in the ceilings. And I was like, can I just get a Bose sound bar? Because it sounds fantastic. And I'll tell you, I'm a really, really, really big fan. I love the Bose soundbar. Okay, so let's do some of this fun stuff. Let's go over here to shades. Let's go ahead and do our uh, night shades. So I can't tell you how convenient it would have been if I could have just done that. Like a touch of a button to put all my shades down to watch a movie. Like super, super, super cool. And as you'll note, there is a shade over the door. So a lot of people will ask me if there's shades over the door and the answer is 100% yes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the TV lift up. So you can see uh, this really gigantic 50 inch TV. Now this is a 60 inch trifold sofa as well. So this is uh, the theater seat package, which is really, really nice. Um, I love the handle of this fabric. It's just so soft. Uh, my friend Avin was pointing out how much he loves it this morning. I couldn't agree more. Um, and then, now y'all know I really like single or uh, stacked cushions. I like them when they're attached. But in this particular layout, I say Numar's got this right because these are super simple to store. Just put them over here on your uh, TV tray and then lift up. Oh man, Bob, are you watching? Because if you are, I'm blaming all of this on you. There it is, I didn't see it. So I always, um, Bob says mess up taking the beds in and out, which is probably true, but it's okay. There's lots of different beds. So again, this is the trifold. And you've got your seat belts back here, but this is a really nice size bed. Um, and this would be something that you could actually have two people in really comfortably. So uh, for those of you who'd like to have maybe more of a couple's coach, but the availability of having some friends, this would be a great place to sleep. Very, very comfy. Again, that's a 62 inch trifold. Uh, there are 110 outlets over here 
as well as over here as well. I know that that's important to people, especially with all of the devices that we have. Uh, we did not, um, we don't have cable. Um, so we used Netflix for just about the entire thing. And we also used our cradle point system. So we have a cradle point system uh, with an AT&T, no, I'm sorry, with a Verizon business account. Um, it gets about 100, 100 uh, gigs of data. And um, it was great. That's, that's what we used to watch television the whole time we were up there. We did not use cable. But I know that for people who like that, this RV does have the SK100 satellite on it, which is for DISH. And we like DISH just because they're easy to work with. You can go direct TV if it's your preference. But the nice thing about DISH is you can turn them on and off. And we can actually just provide the receiver for you here at the dealership. So with direct, you'd have to order one in and set up your account and then have them mail us the receiver, which is kind of a pain. Um, as you can see here, all your HDMI cords are wired. Um, everything is very nicely located. So you can see your auxiliary feed. Um, even the one to the bedroom is located up here in this box. So kind of the uh, AV section of your RV, right below that fantastic sound bar, and lots and lots of nice storage here as well. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these down while I show you the recliners. So let's go ahead and go to systems. I'm gonna go ahead and do TV down. So that'll put the television down. Everything's touched it, touch, uh, touch on this little guy. And then I can go ahead and I can hit uh, nightshades, they'll all come up, but if I wanted to, I could put my um, my day shades up or down uh, individually. And so as you can see, these are really nice because you can still see through them, but no one can see in. And so that's just a nice feature that you can do all of this by touch. And then tons of storage here. This is a great place to keep novels. So if anyone's reading a few books, this would be a nice place to keep everything that you wanted to read. Uh, we bought a, a wildflower book. My daughter said, don't you have like seven of those, Mom? And I was like, yeah, but I could always use another one because I never know where they are. Well, I guess if I had a section like that, I could keep all of my hiking books and birding books and wildflower books in one place. Um, so great cup holder right here. I can just imagine an old fashioned right there next to that blue glow making for a perfect Friday night. Um, so love that. And then again, when we talk about things that are important to people, it's really nice to see that you have trying to figure out where the outlets are on this side. Oh, here they are. Here are your, uh, so there's, there's two USB ports on the right side here, and then there's four 110 outlets total. So plenty of charging power for everybody's cell phones. Um, so that's gonna bring us to another part of this RV that I really love, and that's gonna be overhead storage. So lots and lots of nice consecutive storage here. Um, so I love that. Um, this is certainly a luxury. Uh, if you want to keep dishes up here, uh, cups, glasses, all of those things, it's just so nice to have so much overhead storage throughout this coach. So just love all the overhead storage. And then also under the seats, once again, you got to figure out how to do this. There we go. More storage. Great place to keep laptop. Uh, maybe to keep, um, if you had his and hers, like iPads, uh, white wire, um, what do you call it? Uh, iPhone accessories, things like that. And then this also has the extendable dinette. And I know you saw those underneath, but with the two extensions on and the two chairs that come with this vehicle, uh, you could really very easily see six. This is a very generous booth. Um, so that I think is super important as well. And then here on this side, we have two USB ports as well as another two 110 outlets. So a grand, a great workstation that you could use here um, for those of you that wanted to maybe get off the beaten path but still catch up on a few emails. And then I am gonna put up the shades again because I wanna make sure you can see this awning package and how nice it is. So just the shades. There we go. So here is the awning uh, deployed on the driver's side. You'll see it covers both the front and rear window. And these are really huge windows. So this is a very, very nice uh, amount of viewing space, especially if you're out there camping and, 
you know, the wilderness where you've got great views all around you. This RV really makes great use of all of your windows. And then here on our passenger side, we also have another carefree awning, which is super nice. Now, some things that are really different about this coach versus others, um, right here, we do have the step cover. Now, I'll tell you, for people who um, ask about this a lot, we didn't use our step cover once, I don't think. Um, but if you have puppies or kittens or anything along those lines, I can see where that would be very useful. Um, one thing that we did really make great use of was the HWH uh, hydraulic leveling jack system. So uh, this is a really interesting thing. When you have your hydraulic leveling system on, it actually shows you where the um, coach is going to be angled towards. So we knew that we actually had a very high uh, side. So we were, pa we were, we were facing um, a campsite where the water um, and sewer were uh, on the driver's side and they were above. And so that made it really inconvenient for dumping and also made it so that the back of our heads, if we didn't level the coach correctly, were going to be like kind of upside down and give you like a pressure headache. So we actually auto leveled the coach and then Jason went through and actually uh, raised this side a little bit higher uh, manually. And it was awesome because it really changed um, the pitch of the coach so that we were actually angled the other direction and made it a little easier to dump the tanks, A, and B, um, so that we didn't get you know, a headache while sleeping. Um, all of that being said, this is one of those points where I go, I never really understood why people love that SantaCon system, but it would have been really nice to have had that this weekend. And of course, it's only available on the Supreme Air. Um, okay, so WineGuard, of course, this is just telling you how many stations you have for cable. This is your Gerard awning system. We use this a ton. We also use the lights a bunch. Uh, really, really nice there. Um, locking and unlocking, this is for the bays. So you'll see that not only do we have the power door locks, which are standard on the Superstar and on the Supreme Air, and they come in so handy, but this RV also has the optional uh, chrome baggage door trim. And then another great uh, selling point of the Supreme Air, or the Superstar for that matter, is all of the storage up here. So. With the girls, everybody had their own cubby to keep their cell phone, their wallet, um, all their other stuff. And then as I mentioned earlier, you have another uh, zone here where you can see all of those different controls just like you were in the, in the bedroom, which is really nice. Uh, but so all of these uh, storage areas are just fantastic. And then you'll note here that we have our new brand specialist. This is Darian Todd. So Darian, welcome. Uh, Darian joins us and she's our brand specialist for both Superstar and Supreme Air and I thought it would be really nice just to give you a little brief introduction since Darian is a female and I love that fantastic name um, but we're really happy to have another lady who loves Super C's on board. Um, as you know I love Super C's so I'm always happy to have more company. Um, okay so let's do shade up. This is such a great feature for just getting lots of nice daylight in the coach. Uh, I love this. Uh, we did keep our curtain in place most of the time. Uh, we use um, a heat shield, which is like a, like a mylar backed foamy uh, heat shield in the windshield itself and on the windows. But then as you can see, they've got these snaps that go the whole way around. There's a curtain that comes through. So we actually use both. Um, here you'll see we've got our new Wabco, so this is going to be your uh, driver's assist system. So this coach is, uh, is uh, equipped with not only um, the Wabco, but also a tire pressure monitoring system as well. And that's really nice. Uh, another nice thing about this RV, so we'll just go here to camera. So you can see, oh, little bugger, that was fast. There we go. I just want to go up here so you can see all of the different angles or I could see overhead, for instance. Um, so I've got everything uh, very visible uh, in this coach um, when I'm trying to park. And that was just very, very handy for us. Um, also, we've got the new nav system. So to be honest with you, uh, it was the first time I'd 
actually tried using it just to see how it worked and it was fantastic it was super easy entry turn by turn directions were nice uh, it worked great so uh, power windows of course uh, power locks heated mirrors um, of course you have your allison transmission um, i don't have this fancy um, dash setup that craig and lunia get but that's very nice with the carbon fiber look um, of course, we used our engine brake a ton coming back and forth between Estes Park to Colorado or to Erie is uh, quite the downhill truck, but very easy to drive this coach. Um, and then, oh, let's just take a look here. Do I have the keys? Yes, I do. Uh, so, of course, these are power mirrors. But the most important thing about this Super C is that if somebody is in your way, You can really uh, make sure they hear you. We actually honked the horn on the, another Super C the other day, and it was a super ninny horn, and that was not a good thing. Okay, so uh, now that we have you on board, Darian, um, if you could just have Newmar add a place for me to do my lip gloss, that would be really fantastic. I would love that. Of course, I could keep lots of lip glosses up here in this little compartment. This would be a great place if you wanted to add a Cobra system. And then over here on the right hand side, you'll note that we have this little mirror and it is really, really handy. Uh, there's a really tight turn coming out of uh, the mountains or, or the entrance to Rocky Mountain National Park where you go through town in Estes and that mirror is super handy for being able to see what you're up to. Um, okay, so uh, these are heated seats. Uh, we definitely turned ours around the entire time. They are air ride. Um, that's a nice, nice feature. Um, but let's go ahead and get to what's really cool about this RV, which is 1,850 foot pounds of torque and a 30,000 pound towing capacity. And of course, we're going to see all of that outside. Now, before we do go, uh, please note this uh, screen door is super nice and can be left cl uh, closed and covered for no bugs very easily. Um, another feature I think that really differentiates this unit over the rest is going to be that uh, Numar uh, on the Super Seas has these fantastic HWH uh, steps that go all the way to the ground, which is really, really nice. Um, and you also have the ability to uh, lock your coach by just holding in a button and you can set your own entry and uh, exit code and you also have a doorbell. Now over here on the right hand side, you're going to see one of the things that makes a Super C so fantastic. And of course, that is an extra set of doors. So three point entrance in this coach. Here you can see your heated seats. Um, so really, really nice. And then you've got your air ride system here. So this is a much nicer system than I have on my Superstar. They both work, but it's nice to have them up and down and then heat right here as well. So very, very classy cab. And I just love this paint job. It's so pretty. I can't wait to show it off. Um, okay, so of course you have your uh, access point for your engine. And as you can see, really easy to open. And then here underneath, uh, on mine it's on the opposite side. So I just wanna show on the Supreme Air the jump points over here on the left, just next to the windshield washer fluid reservoir. And then right here underneath, we'll see the DD13. So this is what's giving us 1,850 foot pounds of torque. This is going to be, uh, this Detroit, as you can tell, is not red like a Cummins would be. Uh, so that's, a, that's one of the first identifying factors. But this uh, 1,850 foot pounds of torque is fantastic for anyone towing, but what else do you need with that? you need to have more support for your end or for your for your trailering package. So for those of you that want to bring a stacker, uh, this is a twin screw. Uh, so when I say a twin screw, what that means is that both of these wheels, as you'll note, uh, I talk a lot about the belly button where there's an any and an Audi. Both of these are innies. And that is because both of these wheels can be engaged to get four by four forward motion. So if you've got something heavy, if you're in a really sticky spot, maybe with lots of gravel or sand, you can engage both of these so that you've got that same forward trajectory. Uh, so that makes this a beast. This is an awesome uh, towing machine. Now, take a look underneath here. So much storage, thanks to the Star Foundation raising this coach off of the chassis rail. So much storage. So 
one compartment with really nice LED lighting. Here are our two chairs as well. So another huge, huge, huge compartment. Great for keeping, oh, and then again, LED lights if I didn't show you those two in the first one. So for those of you keeping all of your um, paddle boards, like we are in our coach, we actually are storing them in there because we've got so much room. Uh, so this is your HWH, so this is your hydraulic system. Uh, this is on a nice tray, so it's easy to service. And then in the bay to the left, you'll note that that is the Oasis system. So in 2022, we went to a dual loop Chinook system, which is just giving us more uh, zone control for the system. But as you can see, this is a monster. This is gonna really help you to keep your house warm, to keep your wa hot water hot, and to keep you out off of the beaten path longer. So uh, these, um, these super seas are so good because not only are they maybe a little more rugged, a little bit easier going up and down dirt roads or things that are a little more bumpy. Uh, but when you make these coaches all electric and put these fantastic water systems in here, oh, speaking of a water system, so I'm not sure which tank this is behind here, but there is, uh, it looks like a fresh tank drain, so probably your fresh tank. Um, and this has got 150 gallons of water. So our class A's run about 105, 150 is a real luxury. And then up here, another fantastic Samsung TV. We listen to a lot of girls PlayStations out there watching television. There is an outlet up here, by the way. Uh, then your docking lights. This, of course, is your bedroom slide. And then here is uh, one of two slides. And this has got our tile floor on there, so your porcelain tile. And then you've got your 110 outlets out here, so this is a great place to plug in that, uh, that grill if you'd like to be able to cook outside. And then also we've got a 12 volt uh, outlet here so we could put our Dometic on this slide tray. So uh, we had to ask for that from Numar, but if you ask them to do stuff, they would be happy to accommodate. So that was a special order feature. Um, of course, we've got our tow ball back here, but more importantly, let's take a look at what's really counting. Look at this. So um, for those of you who aren't familiar with this garage feature, it has been just a huge change for us. All of our fishing poles, all of our uh, mops and brooms, all of our cleaning supplies can be stowed underneath here. And then you have your whole top shelf and mixer section for your outdoor bar. And it doesn't matter if it's raining, you can still make someone a really nice cocktail. Or you could use it for tire shine, however you'd like. Um, again, so this is the Riviera inspired uh, exterior. So we took the coach color from an Essex and applied it to the Supreme Air. No one else will have this. I cannot speak highly enough. If you are looking to have an RV uh, painted and made for you, let me know. I have so much fun with this. Um, I have four Super uh, C's on order currently. All of them are special order paint. Um, look at this hitch. Holy mackerel. That's what 30 pounds, 30,000 pounds will do for you. And as you can see, your Voyager camera system, your brake controller, everything is already uh, set up and ready for you to go. Uh, here's one of your cameras for your rear view. And then here, oh, you can hear, let me go ahead and stop our generator. So one of the things that's nice about having uh, generator control inside and outside is that you can go ahead and turn it on and off as you'd like. Uh, this is our central vac uh, hose system and then this air hose will actually air up all of your tires so it's uh, long enough to reach and then there's that 12.5 or 1 12,500 kilowatt onans i'm sorry 12,500 watt uh, cummins onan quiet diesel generator of course this is sipping uh, fuel off of your 100 gallons of uh, fuel and our fantastic twin screws. And then this is that system that I was mentioning earlier that I think would have been really handy. This is a SantaCon system, and that would have just helped me, to, that would have prevented me from having to use my Slunky and to get so creative with um, really just trying to dump our tanks. It was not very convenient. 
Uh, and then I love that we have a hot and cold water shower outside. And then of course, uh, one of the things that's really nice about the Supreme Air is that it has not only a black water rinse, but it also has a gray water. So that's a nice, that's a nice feature. And a whole house water filter, power hose for fresh water, and a place to hang up your, uh, your uh, paper towels. So in our next space, uh, our next bay, we're gonna have our um, 50 foot power cord as well as our uh, coax. So I had somebody ask me the other day where you access the cable. If you have a cable from the park, it's right there. And then our Xantrex inverter here as well. And we also have the optional surge protector. And then of course on the next bay, you can see we have our eight, uh, eight six volt batteries uh, with a consecutive run. So this is gonna give you 800 amp, 800 uh, amp hours of battery uh, capacity. In the 2023 model, you can opt to have a lithium ion battery pack uh, with up to three batteries here really wants you to kind of examine whether or not it's worth the spend because this is a lot of storage and on this rv we are going to also add three 170 watt zamp solar panels uh, which will give us just over 500 uh, watts of solar and i could add a fourth panel for 700 watts or even a fifth with the amount of room that i had um, and of course batteries are only as good as the amount of juice you put into them so that solar filling them up is going to help um, but Unless you're really looking to run air conditioning without running your generator, which I guess would be a nice feature. I don't understand why you'd really need to, to be honest with you, just because I spend so much time out camping and the generator is so quiet. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't just run the jet if you needed to run AC when you weren't at a 50 amp plug in. But if you want the capacity, uh, that's something that's coming in 2023. Um, so here we're going to also have our air hoses so this is where you would actually be able to air up your tires as well as our def tank and you'll notice here that we are really low in aqua hot juice so this oasis system uh, when it's empty like that will not run hot water uh, this coach is yet to go through pdi so they will fill that up during the pdi but if you watch this video and you come in when you purchase your rv i will give you a gallon of aqua hot juice it's actually oasis juice in this system it's just hydronic fluid but it's really important to have that because you can't really order it from Amazon and have them deliver it to you at the Sequoia National Forest. You want to have that on hand. So I always like to have you keep an extra uh, gallon of it with you. Of course, you can see um, hot water outlet here. That was a, another uh, feature that we opted for. Just a great place to be able to wash the bugs off of your windshield. And there's one of your huge uh, saddle tanks for fuel. Uh, camera here for your side view. Of course, you have one in the front as well. And then again, here's another uh, snapshot of that generator. And last but not least, I do wanna go ahead and put this up. So we're gonna put this up and I'm gonna go back inside. We didn't look at the walking room. Um, and I'd like, to sh I'd like to show that to you. So before we go, we're gonna take a look at the walking room. Again, there's that on guard system. Here's one of your over overhead cameras for your 360 overhead. But let me just get in here and Jody, we're going to go back inside for another sneak peek. Woo. You go ahead and come on in, bud. I'm going to go ahead and run this in. So this is so cool. So you can actually watch the um, hydraulic system working here. bringing in that huge slide. But I know that this is an important thing for a lot of people that are considering uh, Renegade versus a, a Numar. So I have a lot of people who want to corner me into telling you that one product is superior to the other. And I've got to say, Renegade makes an awfully nice RV. Um, the Supreme Air is definitely more opulent than anything else in the market. Uh, so it's definitely the king of the segment. 
Um, but when you get into, you know, the Icons and the XLs, they're also really, really nice coaches. And they do have more walking room. So uh, this is a, you know, feature, I think, that really speaks well to the Supreme Air. I can get all the way back here. Uh, I don't have to turn sideways. I have full access to my bathroom. I also have full access to my refrigerator and my freezer, to my sink, and to my dinette. And uh, we're, Jody's going to step down in the stairwell, and I'm going to show you the one thing that really differentiates this coach um, from the rest, and that's going to be um, this right here. So this coach is uh, separated um, by this big black rainbow, and this is on an air ride. So this cab, uh, there's a switch under the front bay that you turn on, and it's on its own separate air ride. And I'll tell you, from a uh, driving perspective, it does change the way that it feels. You don't feel as much of the sway because it's not welded together. Um, so this cab is unique to Newmar. So if that's something that you're going to be spending a lot of time with a really heavy payload going down a lot of roads, this might be something worth considering the Supreme Air because of this air ride cab. So um, in my estimation, driving the Renegade versus driving the uh, the Numar, they both handle very, very well. So um, in terms of can you tell the difference? Yeah, there's definitely a difference on the road. Um, there's also a little bit more noise um, with the cab being separated. So there's pluses and minuses. Uh, but the best idea that I can give you is to come out and try it for yourself. Come out, see which one fits, uh, suits you best. Um, I know I just delivered an Explorer and my client was like, where's the flagpole bracket? Because they didn't have a flagpole bracket option for him on his new Explorer. But um, I don't know, There's, they're really, I think when people walk in them, they find the one that they like the most. Whatever that is for you, um, I'm always happy to help answer questions, to get you information, to help you make good decisions. Uh, my name again is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I have just about a hundred videos on YouTube. If you'd like me to send something to you with more information, I'd be happy to make a FaceTime call with you. Um, whatever I can do to help get you out there and camping. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Again, Katie O'Neill here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV, 303-562-8659. Reach out and let me know how I can help get you on the road. Thanks for tuning in.